Hey there, everyone. Happy birthday, Be Live TV. And everyone is out there. How's everyone doing? Yes, it is a celebration. So we got to look like the celebration, right? Look, I brought the champagne because I am in Paris, France. This is a Tatanger, if you drink uh, champagne, pretty good bottle of champagne here. And I wanted to celebrate and thank Jeff and all the Be Live TV people who have invited me to come and share this moment with you together, which I hope will be fun and interesting and engaging for you to talk about kind of how not to be boring on you know video. Uh, and just generally speaking, I mean, for me, it's like the real life, right? When we come on video, I discovered Be Live TV, uh, I, you know, could it be a year ago maybe? I should have probably checked this. And I was actually using it for interviewing people. And it's such a great way to connect with other people, right? You can interview someone on your own Facebook page. And I was like, wow, this is now what I want to do. Because I wanted to do lives where I'm connecting with people right there. Such a gift for me to be able to uh, do something that was actually live, but actually like an interview and a conversation. Couldn't find another way to do that that was, again, that was live. And so it inspired me to actually reach out to other people and connect with other people and actually create something together. So I do live events, which is why I usually wear this kind of crazy hat to kick things off and like to start a little bit silly, a little bit celebration because life is a celebration, uh, just like this party here for Be Live TV. And you know, you got to keep things kind of interesting, right? <laughs> or at least in my world. So, you know, I just want to express how much for me and for the people that, you know, are in groups that I'm part of, etc. Uh, to keep people engaged and keep them interested in kind of uh, following you along while you're doing a video, especially if it's longer, it doesn't really matter what you're speaking about. You want to make things non-monotone, right? So you can keep people engaged and interested. Our brain needs this, you know, stimulation, dopamine hit. You know, the, the president of the GSF, uh, the Global Speakers Federation, uh, the former president, uh, said something really interesting. He said, every eight seconds, you want to do something to stimulate. You want to do something to shift the energy. So what can we do? What can you do when you're actually either interviewing somebody or you're just alone here on video? What can you do to actually create that poke? Maybe it's not every eight, eight seconds. Maybe that's too much uh, for, for what you're talking about. Maybe that's too much for you. And I get that. It's the same for me. You know, I can't be on a high level all the time. That's a monotone. But you don't want to be in a low level all the time either. So a few things you can do to make it more engaging, more interesting, keep the audience coming back, especially the brain coming back to re-engage with you, is, for example, to use your voice differently. We have pitch. We have volume. And uh, we have, we have uh, uh, speed and pauses, of course, to let like what you've just said sink in, right? So you can keep people kind of going along. We just want to stay away from sort of the flat track. Think like a roller coaster that you want to create. It's kind of like a hero's journey during your little talk where you want to create the ups and downs, a little bit of, you know, for me, it would be a little bit of performance, entertainment, a little bit of drama even to make it kind of more interesting and engaging. So does this make sense for anyone out there? Or is everyone great with the way that they can get people to stay really fun and engaged and interactive on your things? First of all, where, where is everyone from uh, that's out there? Let's see who, who's out there. Wow, 66 people, this is amazing. So I'm in Paris, where are you? Let me see if I can get a little feedback here from people if you're, if you're based in Europe, if you're based in Asia, if you're based in America, Anyone out there? <laughs> Anyone out there? Let's see here. Oh, there are the comments. Okay, from Florida. Wow, cool. Is that Wisconsin, Denver, Keith, Portland, Oregon, Don, Liz in San Diego? Yeah, I used to live uh, in San Diego a bit. I'm from Los Angeles, actually. Florida, love it. Yeah, Mark, using dynamics makes sense. If you want to keep things interesting, I mean, even, uh, you know, I would go to the point of you don't even, even don't really feel like you're talking about an interesting subject. For me, it's almost 
that much more important. You got to make it interesting and engaging and funny. You got to kind of be silly sometimes, right? You got to dare to let yourself come out. For me, imagine that you are going to a dinner party. You're sitting at a dinner party with, with friends. That spirit, that as we say in French, that complicity, is that a word in, in English? <laughs> the French out there should know, like complicité. The more that you can feel coming in with an intention that you're going to really connect in a way that's fun and engaging, that's gonna give people this variety of dynamics, uh, just like Mark is saying, the more you're gonna keep them engaged with what you're, what you're sharing. I also believe that movement can be kind of interesting, not too much again, you don't wanna make people dizzy, but a little bit of movement can create a sense of energy. Uh, and again, the expression of, you know, when you say you're excited about something, you know, are you excited about this? I'm really excited about this Be Live TV and being with you here today. I am honored to be here with you today. And everyone that's come before, or just listening to April, such great information and content to share. Lots of stuff that I've been learning and need to follow, and I'm be learning even more. Uh, but yeah, for me, it's imagine that you are with somebody in person. And, you know, uh, this really gives you that sensation of loosening up to the point where you really become yourself. And what happens there? There you start to connect from the heart. From here, you open up. And that's where the trust comes in. That's where the real connection comes in. That's where the, the dynamics between people uh, come in. So are there any questions that you have about how you could possibly make things more interesting in your, uh, in your interviews, in your talks. Another few ideas where we're looking for this to come in here is to use props. You know, when you talk about something, show what you have. Another thing you can do is do things if you can't have the good connection for it, because you gotta have a really good connection, do stuff outdoors. If you can possibly do that and shake up the environment that you're in. Again, you're giving different stimulation points to keep people engaged. Let's see here, what do we have coming in? It's difficult to look into the camera, the whole webcast, because everything you say has to be coming from off the top of your head. Yeah, it is difficult to look into the camera, but you can, you're kind of saying that you're having trouble being spontaneous also. Uh, Mark, the bell, yes, the bell. <laughs> Thanks, Joanne, that's great. Appreciate that. So yeah, it's, you know, how can you actually, in your way, not my way, in your way, how can you share something that's personal and fun and that engages people in a way that feel like they actually know you, like they're with you at a dinner party, right? So again, um, to be able to look also at the camera for a long time, Mark, one thing is, you know, you don't really have to look at the lens necessarily. Maybe someone more specialist like Todd who was on earlier, would know, but I spend a lot of time looking at the lens on my camera. I'm not talking about phone, but on the, on the uh, computer. And it turns out that it actually, if you look at the person that you're actually speaking with, if you're doing an interview, you can pretty much give the impression that you're looking uh, into, into the camera lens. And again, imagine yourself, use your imagination, visualization that you're with people, you know, that you're actually in a group and that you're sharing. And again, it'll loosen you up and get you into a space of ease and better connection. And that's where your naturalness comes out. Everyone talks about authenticity. Well, authenticity comes from you feeling like you are yourself in, in the situations maybe that are less challenging or stressful or you're maybe less concerted because we have this tendency to push up into the head. And I can tell you, this is a lot about why I also uh, you know, spend a lot of energy saying, how am I going to get myself, you know, a little bit out of my head so I can get across what I need to get across, communicate the energy I want to, but also at the same time, enjoy it, share something that's relaxing. I mean, people want to hang out with people that they can, they feel that they can connect with also. Now, again, I do lots of live events. I do lots of videos that are inside of a group that I manage. So sometimes it's a little bit more personal, but I, I really just want to get across that, Getting to that place where you're really at ease on camera is when, you know, it gets less boring for yourself and for everyone else. If you are bored, and I learned this in improvisation, great thing to do if you don't do, 
go do some improvisation to learn how to get interested uh, in kind of the other. There's a great sentence in improvisation, uh, be interested to be interesting. So, you know, interested in the comments of the people that are coming. Brigitte de Limbada, thank you for your comment. Love your relaxed style. That's just practice also, right? Showing up as if again, you know, welcome to my dinner party. Coming in with an intention that says, I'm welcoming you into my home. I imagine that all the time. I'm welcoming you into my heart. Open arms, open into energy. My energy is there to serve, to love, to give energy, and to be as helpful as I possibly can to help you get along to where you want to get along with. So I do lots of events around connection, um, emotional and sensorial around food. Uh, so lots of visual and, and things that are based on the senses. Uh, and so I'm very sensitive to people who communicate using a lot of uh, their senses. Maybe this comes across as a little bit Latin or something, but <laughs> is, this any, is this making sense? Is this resonating with anyone or is this, am I just the crazy man yelling out into the, the forest here? Can I get a little bit of, little bit of uh, uh, recognition here? A little bit of love maybe? <laughs> Thanks, Jeff. I appreciate it. So I have one more of a Howard Stern way of not looking at the camera. He looks off camera, but he has the radio microphone there. So it looks Natural, Mark, great. I mean, hey, you know, everyone has their got their their style. Everyone has got their way of again. If you're not bored, the audience and your niche target, who you really are, your people, are not going to be bored. We can't interest everybody, obviously, uh, but the natural thing is really to be ourselves and connect in the way that expresses really who we are. And that is when, for me. That is when we get to be the most interesting. That's when I really connect with people and I feel their juice and really who, who they are. So thanks, Joanne, that's really great. Wow, Tina, we must be related, boom. Um, so yeah, I really appreciate it. Uh, so this is, this is great. I have no idea how we're doing on time here. I'll let Jeff kind of come back in. Let's see, what else I wanna share with you, really? Uh, I've got a pretty expressive face. Uh, there are 43 muscles in the face. I want you to think about looking in the mirror at some point here. Seven more minutes? Cool. I, wanna, I want you to think about uh, doing the exercise of looking in the mirror actually, which is a good way actually for you to get used to actually looking into a camera and just kind of look at yourself and smile. You know, but make sure you're not doing just the smile that's from here down. You know, we want to express our soul I want to express who we are and it comes through our eyes. And so a real smile is when you get to that, again, that trusting, relaxed state where you feel good and you really want to connect with people and you start to have a very natural feel. It's a good thing to practice just looking at yourself in the mirror. Again, if you can look into the mirror and make yourself smile, you can look into a camera and make everyone else smile also in a real way, right? So Colleen says, great point. We need to share more energy on camera than in real life. Oh my gosh, I'll tell you, I'm, I'm sharing a lot of energy on camera, a lot of energy in life, but you're, you're so true. Uh, there's, there's, there's been a bit of a, for me, there's been a bit of a, uh, you know, such an influx of so many people doing videos. And one of the ways for you to stand out, to be unique, to be original is really to work on your nonverbals, your unique way of expressing these 43 muscles in the face. Doesn't mean you become a clown, like I have a tendency to be uh, sometimes. Uh, but it, you know, it means you know, getting to that place where you can share something that's meaningful, that you're educating people. But we need a little bit of entertainment, a little bit of entertainment. That's probably because I come from a family in the entertainment business. I actually grew up in Los Angeles uh, in Hollywood. My dad made movies. My mom was in the theater world. And I was kind of in the movie business for a while before I got into um, you know, coaching and conference speaking. Uh, I was just part of something yesterday called the Grand Summit of Motivation here in Paris, France, uh, which is a spectacular day with 30 other speakers in front of an audience of 250 people. It was really spectacular. And it took a lot of energy there. And it reminds me about here in video how 
how important it is to give. You know, I want to feel like at the end of this end of this Be Live TV that I've not only given you some tips, if you can even just one of them and focus on like your voice. That's all you're going to do is you're going to make that voice go on a roller coaster that at least you start to do that, you know, tomorrow. Uh, but when you are, you know, when you are, are trying to get into that mode before you start, give yourself a few minutes before you go live to not focus on your content, but to focus on getting you into the state. A few things to help you with this. You could do jumping jacks. You could listen to your favorite music, you know, and get it going, right? You can do whatever funny, silly dance, uh, whatever kind of thing you need to read, whatever video you need to watch, whatever it takes for you to get into state, to give it. So when you get on here, you give it to the end, you hold the energy strong, and you leave, uh, you know, you leave sweat on the stage, right? You leave your heart on the stage. Today, we need to differentiate and give more in this way. Because there's so much content out there, which is pretty good quality, actually, if you're kind of good at looking around for content. There's a lot of people, I mean, today on Be Live TV, wow, I'm just, I'm blown away. Again, I am honored to be here with all my peers and colleagues who are on here sharing such, you know, specific call to action. How do you better use this? How do you better use the, the camera, the lighting, all of these things? It's just, there's so many things to juggle. And again, for me, it comes down to when you're actually in this moment here that we actually can uh, connect. Thank you, Mamu. Yes, it's true. Thank you. Connie Sudanga, you're sweet. That's thank you. You're very sweet also. <laughs> Diane Lang, I'm very expressive with my smile and my eyes. People also comment. You see, um, laughter also. Laughter. I mean, laughter is the most contagious emotion that we have. You know, sprinkle it in. Even if you're doing like, you know, how to be a home accountant, find a way to bring in some humor, some life. Again, it's like you're um, sort of in between hanging out with friends and, 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 you know, kind of selling something along the way. This, you know, natural charisma that you can start to elevate in you and share. And again, I can't say it enough. Uh, you know, we all want to be natural and who we are. Wow, we all want to be that best part of who we are, the part that's, you know, the person that you want to go out and have dinner with and hang out with because they make you feel good, because they make you laugh, because they're so smart and they share these super insights, because they give you a different perspective uh, about, you know, where you are in your life and what, what you could possibly do. So um, I'm not big on slides. I'm big on how you come into this space how you share yourself with everyone. And, and, you know, I would say it actually translates back into your life. This is the great thing. The better that you can actually get to share here, I'll bet you that at home with your family, with your friends, at other meeting situations, you're going to be able to call up also this energy within you. You know, use a doorway. Every doorway you walk through in the office snaps you into that state to say, I'm going to give into this room. I'm going to give into this space. I'm going to be generous with my heart and my energy. That's going to pay off. That puts us into this appreciation state. And again, I'm so happy to be here with all of you today, really. Thank you, Be Live TV, for, for creating this incredible software, which I, I, I really am going to start using more. Uh, I've actually never done a, a, a broadcast alone. With Be Live TV, I usually do that on Facebook Live. Uh, I've mostly, I've really only used it to interview people. Uh, um, and you know, there again, when you're with people, same thing. You wanna, you wanna get them into a space so they can feel like they're right there with you. I want you to feel like we're right there. You know, I can feel you. I can feel you feeling me. You know, and it creates a really great space for us. So enjoy the celebration here. Don't ever let down your guard. Keep it interesting and, you know, do whatever kind of is your quickie way of, of reaching out. Shake it up every, you know, eight, 10 seconds if you possibly can. Use your voice. 
in a roller coaster to vary. <laughs> there, he is, man. <laughs> there he is. All right, Jeff. Thanks so much, man. This has been really wonderful. I hope this has awesome been good man. for everybody. A little bit of juice for today. <laughs> That's awesome. You know, this, I mean, <clears throat> this is the first time I've actually seen you, man. You, I mean, dude, you're uh, very calm and collective, smooth, and a lot of great information, man. I mean, you are, you know, a top notch live streamer in my books, man. I mean, you, I mean, you're just very calm and you have a very, uh, you know, peaceful presence about yourself, you know? So um, really appreciate you being a part of the birthday bash today. Thank you, Jeff. I, I'm receiving light in life, as we say. Uh, first of all, my mom, my mom used to say to me, you know, when you get a compliment, they thank you. And the thing I've learned a lot also in life is we really have to learn how to receive. Yeah, absolutely. So I am so receiving and um, thank you again to you for setting this up. This is great. And also it would be live TV, man. I look forward right, to the next so one.